Welcome to the online training, Uranium and Drinking Water and What to Do About It. It is provided to you by the National Groundwater Association with support from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This training takes about 15 minutes. The time you invest in it could protect your drinking water quality and your health. Uranium is a naturally occurring radioactive metal in the environment. Generally, negative health effects are more from uranium's properties as a heavy metal than radiation. Where does uranium come from? Trace amounts of uranium exist in almost all rocks and soils. Everyone ingests or inhales small amounts of natural uranium daily. A U.S. Geological Survey study found that the highest concentrations occur most often in western basin fill aquifers and crystalline rock aquifers in the Rocky Mountains in the Northeast. Geochemical conditions can affect the degree to which naturally occurring uranium enters the groundwater. Uranium presence also can result from human actions such as uranium mining and milling and use in some phosphate fertilizers. The federal maximum contaminant level for uranium in drinking water is 30 micrograms per liter. That's 30 parts per billion. Uranium may be accompanied by other radioactive contaminants such as radon. Radon is a gas produced by the decay of radium, a decay byproduct of uranium. A certified drinking water testing lab can advise you about appropriate tests to accurately measure risk related to uranium. Health effects. Little information is available on the chronic human health effects of exposure to environmental uranium. Very high levels may cause acute kidney failure and death. Question. The way to know for certain whether radioactivity is a problem in drinking water is to get it tested for uranium. True or false? The answer is false. Uranium may be accompanied by other radioactive contaminants such as radon. A certified drinking water testing lab can advise you about appropriate tests to accurately measure risk related to uranium. Question. What makes uranium a health risk is 1. Radiation 2 its properties as a heavy metal, three, numbers one and two, and four, none of the above. The answer is number three, numbers one and two. In high enough concentrations, environmental uranium can be a radiation risk. Generally, however, Negative health effects are more from uranium's properties as a heavy metal than radiation. Addressing unsafe uranium levels in drinking water from the well. If you are installing a well in an area known to have problematic levels of uranium, discuss this with your water well system professional. Sometimes the water intake zone can be located in an area where uranium is at safe levels. For an existing well, ask the water well contractor about retrofitting the well to bypass the water intake zones with higher levels of uranium. Another option is water treatment from a qualified water treatment service provider. Accurate water test results from a certified drinking water testing lab 
are key to getting appropriate water treatment. A growth alpha test, typically around $30, serves as a key preliminary screening that determines whether additional testing is advisable. If results show 15 picocuries per liter or greater, the test for uranium is recommended, which can be twice as expensive. What treatment technologies effectively remove uranium? First, there's reverse osmosis units, which can remove up to 90% of uranium. RO units typically are installed at the point of use, such as the kitchen sink, but can be installed where the water enters the house. A second option is ion exchange, which typically involves a physical chemical process in which water passes through a specialized resin, inducing an exchange of ions removing uranium. Ion exchange treatment systems usually treat all the water coming into the house. A third option is called distillation. Distillation involves evaporating water and condensing the vapor, requiring significant heat energy and cooling capacity. It is generally installed at the point where the water is used. For each type of treatment, reverse osmosis, ion exchange, and distillation, filters or membranes can have high concentrations of uranium. These filters or membranes should be handled carefully and disposed of properly. Use certified water treatment products. These independent product testing lab certifications verify that a product works. Check the National Sanitation Foundation at www.nsf.org or check the Water Quality Association at www.wqa.org. Question. In an area where uranium and groundwater is a problem, water treatment is the only option for safe drinking water from a well. True or false? The answer is false. Sometimes safe water can be obtained by drawing water from different intake zones within the well, effectively bypassing an aquifer with problematic uranium. Question. Treatment technologies effective in removing uranium from water include 1. Reverse osmosis 2. Ion exchange 3. Distillation Four, activated granular carbon filters. Five, aeration. Six, numbers one through three. Seven, numbers four through five. And eight, all of the above. The answer is number six, reverse osmosis, ion exchange, and distillation. Question. If I buy a water treatment system retail, I can be confident that it works. True or false? The answer is false. While retailers who deal in water treatment systems may offer reliable systems, the way to be sure if a system is effective in treating uranium is if it has been certified effective by an independent product testing lab, such as NSF, or the Water Quality Association. For more information about water well systems and water quality, visit www.wellowner.org. There you can find resources including a private well owner hotline, a private well owner tip sheet, more online well owner lessons, 
and free WellOwner webinars. Don't forget to check WellOwner.org for other online lessons if you have questions like, what should I test my water for? How should I maintain my well? How can I keep my water safe? What should I do if my well floods? How do I get water treatment? And what should I know about getting a new well?